Hello, everybody. Hey, what's going on, guys? I am Janae Strether. I'm Sean Spencer. Look, yo, let's, let's go ahead and keep this thing moving to another one of our favorite segments, one we brought up last year, Like It or Not, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. And, and Janae, let, let's dive into this one because, like we talked about, Miami, 70 points. This hasn't happened since, uh, I want to say, like, the 40s? Or something like that. Let me know. It was 66. That's happened in four times in football history. Four times in football history. And football has been together like 100 years. Yeah. 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 All so of it's, football. It's, it's rough. So the question gets asked. You know, in Little League, the teams call, you know, the skunk or, or you know, after 21 points, they end the game. Yeah. Miami scored 70. Janae, should they have called the game at like 55? Oh, you, I, you know, I'm a firm believer of playing to the last minute, but, but, but there comes a time where there's just, you know, that's not a winnable game. And I can't even fault the Dolphins because they did put in their backup and yeah. their backups still dominated. I just, but, yeah, at a certain point, it should no longer be televised. Who's ever there to witness the massacre should see it. <laughs> And then fade off, you know. <laughs> but don't let anybody else outside the building watch it because it's a waste of time. And they had Russell Wilson playing the entire game. Right. Oh, man. It's that it, face it, too. Yeah. I don't like it, man. I, on TV. I, I don't like it either. You can't. Yeah, you can't. This running up the score. Look, at, at one side, everybody's going to say they still get paid. You know, let them play. Yeah. If you don't want them to run up the score, stop them. But obviously, their defense had no answer for any member when of the Miami Dolphins. When you're up by 30-plus, <laughs> when you're up by 30-plus, it's, it's about a done deal. Like, it, it, you don't no longer need to pummel them down and beat them down so they can't breathe anymore. And, yeah, yeah. If you hey, hey, shout out to Ab. you don't want the team to score that much, stop them. I know. I know. There it is. I there know. it is. It just sucks that you got to watch that massacre. Like, literally, it's watching a massacre. Yeah. I, I People were telling that. me left and right. They were saying 70. Did you see 70? Miami put up 70. I was like, man, what game? What Madden game are you playing? Like, that didn't really what happen. what I'm saying. Yeah. College? Like, what is this? Man. Man, oh, look, man. Look, look. Do you see Miami's coach ended up in the stands during the second half coaching? Yeah. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah. That's embarrassing. It, it, I, it was sad. It was sad. It was sad. It was. It actually was. You got was. people getting paid for it, symptoms and that kind of stuff. You got to let them play. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. How I many know, people made their money yesterday? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> if a team score drops 70 points on my head, I'm enduring like I'm getting a check. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, but pay, you're getting paid back. I thought you said pay, pay back. Oh, pay yeah. back. Yeah. Big yeah. time. Big time. If, any, if anything. Embarrassing. Nathan. Yeah. If anything, that, they shouldn't I mean, have got their sad. paycheck. <laughs> yeah, that, that was just. How do you show your face? I mean, not just this. I mean, you have to go to the week before when they were up 21 to 3. But last week's MVP came back did we even, on did them. We have to even broke it that? down. I'm just saying. I'm just saying he broke it down, down 21 to 3. So maybe they were just crushed. From that loss, and we just demoralized. I don't think they were thinking about it. I think, I think they that's were what happened. About you guys. No, I, I don't think <laughs> they were thinking about you guys. I think that the Dolphins just pummeled uh, his restaurant. And I don't. I hope not, Kate. Yeah. I hope not. I just. I. That was a defense loss too. I mean, seventy yeah. points. Yes. Russ didn't do that. Russ couldn't do that. Seventy points. No. My God, that's a defensive no. loss. Oh, makes me it's... sick. Too rough. I, I'd, call yeah, I'd call out of work, work for a week. week. Yeah. I'd go in hiding. I'd go in witness protection. All right. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Right. Yo, but let's let's move on down the list because somebody that's uh super close to me uh is is trying to get back. He's trying to get a job. He's trying to get a job in the NFL. <laughs> Shout out to Carson Wentz. He reached out to the Jets, trying to be one of their quarterbacks. He figured, you guys got Zach Wilson. I'm at least on par with him. I could do a little bit something for you. So do you like this or not, Janae? I mean, I'm, I cannot not like it. Because you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to check. And they're in a position right now where I wouldn't be choosy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be choosy at all. Because I just no. don't think that Zach Wilson has it. 
I don't think that he can do it. Um, we've seen Carson Wentz. We've yeah. seen what he can do. We've never seen that close Zach person. Wilson. We've never yeah. seen him dominate like that in the NFL. Carson Wentz definitely has dominated. He has not done it lately. I'm sorry, Washington, and I'm yeah. sorry for everybody else. But thank you, thank you, thank you, Nathan. Thank you. But, yeah, I just, yeah, I, I feel that he should definitely reach out. Why not? Yeah. If I was anybody who's available right now, I'd be reaching out. If I was Kaepernick, I'd be reaching out. Shoot. Right. Everybody needs right. a job. And, and I think that eventually the Jets will bite. Yeah, probably two, have to. two more games, <laughs> two more games. And, and, and here, I love this because I think Wentz is a step up from Wilson. However, I, so this is this is two headed for me because for the Jets, I, I don't like this because I've seen Carson Wentz up close and personal. And I, I, I kind of like you. We know what Carson Wentz is. Zach Wilson, maybe there's still something out there that he could do to surprise us i don't know i kind of think we've seen everything we're gonna see out of him but i love I this for carson wentz because i yeah well yeah i love this for carson wentz because he's not giving up on his career because after what he showed in washington i thought he was pretty much done so i hopefully he can get out there get back in green baby We'll see. We will see. <laughs> we'll see. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mm, 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 Yo, let's move on down the list and something that I know Janae is excited about. Uh, an article she read uh, calls that three quarterbacks need to be benched thus far in this season. Desmond Ritter, uh, Sam Howell, which is not going to happen, and Zach Wilson. Janae, do you like this or not? I don't like it necessarily because it is week three. I mean, I really feel like we're talking about, well, at least two of these quarterbacks who are fresh with the team, learning, getting acclimated. I think it's going to take time. I don't even think three weeks is enough time to really tell what somebody can do. Now, Zach Wilson, I do think that he should be, you know, if they can find somebody at least decent, get them trained up, I think that they should definitely find something else. But, you know, I'm not – I don't get paid to do that. They, maybe they have some some vision they have Zach Wilson do. But I do think that we got to give Desmond Ritter some time and Sam Howell some time. It's, yeah. it, 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 it was rough. Their last two weeks, yeah. even, even Sam Howell, he's been winning, but me and Sean have been joking. He's literally been struggling to get those wins back. Like, it's struggle. like he's something kicks it in the fourth quarter. Some of these teams, as we're talking about the top-tier teams, that are scoring Kansas City, uh, the San Francisco 49ers, the Eagles. Some of these teams are not going to allow you to come back in the fourth quarter. Right. Some people kick in the gear as well. They're kicking gear first, second, third, fourth quarter. I just don't think that um, – yeah. I just I, I just don't think that uh, it's time to pull the trigger yet. Yeah. But, Sean, I mean, I got to be honest. If, if Sam Howell has too many more of these games – I mean, we're, we're talking about where he's at least throwing a couple picks a, a game. He's getting injured, and you're right. The offensive line is horrible. It's hard yeah. to even yeah. watch him go through it. But we also got to realize that some of the stuff he's been putting himself in the position. Because I know eventually you're going to have to feel like you got to overcompensate. You got to run the ball. I got to make sure I do this. I got to do this. Sometimes it gets too much pressure. And I think that this past weekend, you know, Sam Howe felt like he had to do stuff, like even when he was thinking he was right. going to run, and then, oh, I got this throw play, you know, and it didn't work. It's like, you know, the same thing with Ritter. I just feel like they're so young, give them time. Give them time. Yeah, yeah, but, and I agree. You know, this, the... Yeah, I know. I, I completely agree. I And I, I think Nathan said it best. I think with Desmond and Sam, you know, I don't think we should bench them right away. And I know people want Absolutely. to do that, but with Sam Howe, you, you know, you can't. We, in the last three years, this is our third to fourth quarterback because we had Fitz, he yeah. didn't last. We had Taylor, Carson, and now Sam. You can't keep doing that. It can't be Heineke, revolving. Don't forget I, Heineke. I said Taylor. I said Taylor. I said him, okay? <laughs> but we've had a revolving door of quarterbacks. No, you can't keep switching quarterbacks and saying, is this one? You got to let somebody Absolutely. going through those growing pains. And I think Absolutely. Desmond. Showing he's two and one. Nobody expected Atlanta to be decent this year, and he's two and one doing something. So those two, I say, stick with it. Zach Wilson, 
I mean, it is week three, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. But nothing that Zach Wilson has shown me has said he's my main guy. He, I've heard backup, but nothing has been he's my main guy. So I, I don't like this. I don't like this personally. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I don't, I don't think that should happen. I honestly don't think that should happen. I, yeah. I, I know, I know, but I just don't think that should happen. We got to hold fast. Remember, we got to let quarterbacks get acclimated to a team. Come on, it's not even yeah. fair. Right. Uh, Alex said, anyone else hearing these guys talk about how and have it remind them of Tim Tebow? Ooh. How, Alex, buddy, you know Howell's arm is so much better than Tim's, okay? But if you want a guy that they're going to believe in, I guess I can see it. I mean, but Sam's got, man. Well, I said he had poise and moxie and all those things before this game, so I don't know what he's got right now. (laughs) Yo. We're going to see. We're going to see. It's rough. I don't even want, you know what? Let's move on from this. I don't want to talk about Sam anymore. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> and one more, Janae, we have on here for like it or not. We talked about the Bears Chiefs game, but everybody was focusing on the booth. They wanted to see Taylor Swift went to the Chiefs Bear Gaze and guest Travis Kelsey. Do you like this or not? I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat, man. Whatever floats your boat. I mean, if you. If your girl coming to the, the stadium is going to pump you up and you're going to get some W's mm. and you're going to win like that, I'd have her at every game. I'd have mm. her at every game. But shout out to Taylor Swift. She didn't got the the, the Travis Kelsey. He didn't changed up his beard now. Mm. Yeah. You know, you, see that? Got, you know, the beard going. He got the little, you know, the Aaron Rodgers stash going on. Uh, I don't really know if I like it, but mm. whatever floats your boat, man. Shout out to Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Looks like the rumors may be true that they are dating, but I I don't have a problem with it. I mean, all the celebrities have their, uh, or all the players have celebrity people that they know to come to the game, support them, whatever, but shout out to them. But how many of them sit in the booth next to the player's mother? Ooh. It wasn't like, It wasn't Yeah. And, and you know, and I mean, let's look. Like, happened on the field, they pan up to them. And right. Like, they're just and, and, in, the, in the field. And one thing really got to me when when they showed the touchdown that Kelsey had, right? You see uh, Taylor just jump up and woo and all this stuff. And then you see, you know, Kelsey's mom just like, you know, like we've been here before. And that moment right there where she, you could see, you could read Kelsey's mom's face. She's like, get this chick out of here. Like, why are you up here right now? <laughs> look, look, she's not ready to have no more daughter-in-laws yet. But you know what? Shout out mm-hmm. to him. Shout out to him. But I did think it was kind of weird. They just kept panning over to right. Taylor Swift. I mean, yes, she's at the game, but we don't need – she's not a player. We don't need to see her every five yeah. seconds. Mm-mm. But, yeah, like you Mm-mm. said, Kate, I'm here for it. Whatever makes you yeah. happy, bring your boo to the game. Whatever. Listen, is, as long as this works for Kelsey, who's on my fantasy team, good. The minute you start falling off, get her out of here. I'm just saying. That's it. <laughs> Yo, we have to move on. Yo, shout out to Alex. He's Alex. I'm not saying these two are comparable necessarily, but the whole thing about him turning on the fourth quarter after trying to give the game away for three quarters, very reminiscent of Tebow. I got to say, that's, that's, yep. That's a great point. That is a great point. Alex, you're hitting on something there. Come on, Alex. You hit it right on the head, man. Right on the head.